good reader. And um, I like to take people. There was one of the perhaps one of the all-time greatest authors and writers. His name, Lev Nikolaevich Tolstoy. But in English, it's called Leo Tolstoy. So perhaps one of the few authors and writers who received the Nobel Prize in Literature from 1902 to 1906. But in 1901, 1902, and 1906, he received the Nobel Peace Prize. So why am I quoting him? He said, yeah. but nothing is more necessary for a man than a company of intelligent women. So they are there because of Christ. <laughs> and and uh, um, I think no man would want a woman who is an intelligent talk, man, would you? Would you? Yeah, I mean, I like women who challenge me. Not just to think, but to even maneuver on life. So I would add what Martin Luther King said. Martin Luther King died 55 years ago on 4th of April. And he said, but um, if a man is called to be a street sweeper, let him sweep. Save the beat Beethoven composed music, as if Shakespeare composed poetry, and as if Michel Angelo painted. So let this man sweep until the owners of heavens and earth pose and say that indeed they live a street sweeper who did his work well. So for me today, I was called to be a poet and this is the poetry I'd like to do. But before I do this, I don't know most, if not all of you, you may not know, but uh, 16 or so years ago, I schooled with the daughter of uh, the Justice of Appeal here, Jimmy Odoga. And I know maybe he doesn't remember, but she was a brilliant lady. And uh, for purposes of data protection, I wouldn't mention her name. <laughs> I want to. Yeah, so we need to comply with that. Okay, so this place is called Unlearning. And um, the books you're seeing on the screen, well, those are pieces of my soul. I mean, my fourth book just came out two or so weeks ago. So trying to craft um, a piece to align with the theme of the day, well, for a point, is a craft. I mean, it's a masterpiece you need to learn for all those years. I didn't know I had talent, so I think it just happened with chance because I was inspired by my Angie who died on 28th of May 2014. She was one of the perhaps greatest uh, inspirations in me as you'll ever have as a writer and as a poet. So I published two of my books in this school, one as a second year and one as a fourth year. And this room was my class, Strip 5. So it falls no start to come back. I mean, to speak to the walls because the walls of ears of the whole lesson. So the place is called and learning and I hope you follow through. So it goes. So like the magical canopy of the eucalyptus, the strong grew despite being deprived of sunlight in its seeded ground, you fought on. And like a baby of his fast crawls and wings, small strides, Slow and steady walks and confident armies of his soul feet, the universe found its voice. From here, men and women's voices were as loud as their echoes. And like a caterpillar in the advent and end of its cycle, you grew into beautiful butterflies, roaming on beauty and grace. Fears of uncertainty but hope concealed in the bright petal flowers you suffered. And so I see you sail in the high seas you docked, and you found peace in storms, and your visions could not be blurred by the trumpets and echoes of silence. For a country that was born in the ruins of yesterday, today is the rebirth of all tomorrow wars. And for a nation that grew but now smiles, today is the beginning of continuity and change in life in the cast of heaven, for a nation that again believed but now mourns, for you showing up, for still showing up, for embedding the country in the global space of democratic and legal greatness, and apart to the bank 
is the call in vulnerable souls woodwork. So hearts off. So you wake eyes, you valorize it, indeed you rose, and you dissolve all the flaws. <laughs>